In this tutorial, we are going to learn about a very popular naming convention of CSS classes called BEM, B-E-M, Block, Element, Modifier. BEM model says that every class should either represent a block or an element of the block or a modifier of an existing block or element. Also, just by looking at the class name, one should be able to figure out where that element belongs to. Let's have a look at this simple HTML markup and its output. Here we are creating a simple navigation which has a few list items in it. The UL is the block here and is an independent entity whereas the LI elements belong to this block. You can see there are three classes used in this small piece of code. Nav, nav underscore underscore list hyphen item nav underscore underscore list hyphen item hyphen hyphen special looking at the class name we can figure out whether an element is a block or an element or a modifier first one is nav it is representing the block every section which is an independent entity on a web page should be treated as a block inside this block we have a couple of elements having class name nav underscore underscore list item I'm not going to say it as list hyphen item for the sake of simplicity it is representing an element list item inside the block nav the double underscore here visually makes it clear to the developer that the left part of it is the block and the right part is the element though this complete name is the class name of the element but looking at this class name we can figure out that this element belongs to block nav so this was the first part of it block and element all elements inside a block should carry the name of the block they are associated with next comes the modifier part you must have faced this challenge very frequently in your projects that you need similar elements with minor differences for example in our code the third list item needs slightly different styles while rest of the styles should be same as that of the other list items. This can be achieved by adding a modifier class which carries only the additional styles to be applied on the element. You can notice that we have added an additional class nav underscore underscore list item hyphen hyphen special to the third list item. The double hyphen used here makes it visually clear that the right part of the class name is the modifier of the left part which is the name of the element class this clearly means we want the third nav underscore underscore list item to have some other styles which should be applied only to this third list item and not to the rest of the two list items mind it the modifier should always be used when there is a corresponding block or element class available for example the nav underscore underscore list item hyphen hyphen special class should not be used for an element if there is no nav underscore underscore list item class applied on it let's understand this with the help of these two examples this is the right way to use the modifier and this is wrong because there is no nav underscore underscore list item class to be modified here. Using double underscore and double hyphens is just a common practice that mostly people follow. BEM is just a concept and you can use your own separators. You are watching YouTube channel Study Zone with Sunil Sayal. Let's now understand why do we need it and what are the benefits of using it. The first one is modularity. As every independent section of the web page is treated as a block, writing markup using BEM methodology bring modularity in the CSS files. The styles written for one block will not collide with the styles of any other block. Hence it allows multiple teams to work on different components of a web page simultaneously because of the reduced complexity and no overlapping of the styles. The next debugging looking at a class name we can figure out where it belongs to is it a block or an element or a modifier 
if it is an element which block it belongs to if it is a modifier it must tell about its corresponding element and block hence locating the issues is quite easy also the fixes stay local to a block and hence it reduces the regression impact as well the best one is fast parsing the bem model eventually identifies an element on a web page with a single class if it is a block or an element and it takes one extra class in case we want to target a modifier hence we do not need to write nested selectors while writing the css styles which makes the parsing much faster on the downside it bloats the markup a little as we need to write quite long class names in the markup but other than that you would definitely love it when you start using it so that's it from this video if you have learned something please subscribe my channel